Our top story in the war on terror continues as we look at the possibility that Germany could put Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld on trial for war crimes. Lawyers for some Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo Bay inmates are asking German prosecutors to do just that. Let's bring in a top story panel right now. Vince Warren, executive director of the Center for Constitutional Rights, which helped file the first lawsuit against Secretary Rumsfeld. Time Magazine senior correspondent Adam Zagarin, who broke the story about the suit. Hello, Adam. And Noel Francisco, a former associate counsel to President Bush. Glad to have all three of you with us. Vince, the last time you tried to bring this case before the German government, it did not go through. There's no guarantee it'll go through this time. Why are you so convinced it will? Well, Paula, last time that this case went through, the German government dismissed it, we think, for political reasons. The U.S. government put some pressure on them to dismiss it right before Donald Rumsfeld went to Germany. This time, things are different. Uh, this time, we're hoping that there's a, new, there's a new prosecutor, and we're hoping that they will <clears throat> move this case forward without U.S. pressure. And if it's a question of the rule of law, we're confident that the case will go through. Noel, do you think the, the U.S. will putting pressure on the German government, or do you, do you agree with Adam? Excuse me, Noel. I mean, Vince. Excuse me. I've got so many, so many new <laughs> sparring pa pa partners here to talk with tonight. <laughs> Paula, uh, I'd be shocked if this case ever went to trial. I think it's pretty clear that what we have here is a politically motivated lawsuit brought primarily by interest groups who disagree with American foreign policy. Now, these groups have every right to disagree with American foreign policy, but asking a German court to resolve that uh, political question is a completely inappropriate use of the German judiciary. That's precisely why the German prosecutors and courts threw out this exact same lawsuit when it was filed two years ago. And uh, I predict that the sequel will have the same predictable ending. All right. Donald Adam, Rumsfeld. Noel feels more confident this time. He thinks some things have changed here. If it goes through, how embarrassing would this be to the U.S. government? Well, uh, the point is that whether uh, the German prosecutor accepts the case or not, it is already embarrassing to the United States government. Should the prosecutor accept it, of course, it'll uh, be more embarrassing. But even if the prosecutor were to reject it, one would then have the prospect of an appeal. And if that appeal were turned down, uh, my understanding is that uh, the people who are uh, driving this uh, are quite likely to appeal to the highest German court, in effect, the Supreme Court of Germany or Constitutional Court. So one can expect this to go on. And uh, I guess I would say that the United States government, uh, wisely or unwisely, and Secretary Rumsfeld uh, is responsible for this, has put the United States in a position where uh, uh, the argument can be made, as it is in this case, uh, and, uh, and therefore procedures like this can go forward. And I, one has to question uh, how smart that was politically and even legally for Rumsfeld and the people uh, who he has been leading legally uh, in these matters okay. to, to go forward. All right. But it, no, we also know if this does go forward, you're going to have former Brigadier General uh, Janice Karpinski, who was in charge of the Abu Ghraib prison, took the fall for it. We actually spoke with her, and she uh, is willing to testify against Donald Rumsfeld. Isn't that unprecedented? Well, it is unprecedented, Paul. Um, and the, the key issue here is that we have to remember that torture is not a political question. It's a moral question and it's a legal question. No one here is debating whether the torture actually occurred. The question for us is what are we going to do about it? Janice Karpinski, uh, in her role, will be able to tell uh, the American public and the world public how this situation unfolded. It really does go all the way up to the top. And the question is, what are we as Americans going to do about it? Sit down or stand up? So, Noel, how damaging would that testimony be? Well, the fact of the matter is it's a bit ironic that former uh, General Karpinski is the chief witness when if there's any senior ranking military official that ought to be held accountable for this, it seems like it ought to be the senior military official who was in charge of the Abu Ghraib prison, which is General Karpinski. Uh, that's why I think that uh, her credibility is really uh, open to question, and I don't think that her testimony will be particularly damaging at all. The more important point is that torture is prohibited in this country. It's prohibited by our laws, and those who engage in it are prosecuted. That's why the perpetrators of the abuses at Abu Ghraib are in jail today for doing what they were found to have done. No, Francisco, Vince Warren, Adam Zagarin, thank you all for your perspective. Thanks, Paul.